This is a proof of concept test for a homemade fire suppression device of some sort. I have a good internet friend, a YouTube friend, on the other side of the country, and he recently had a devastating shop fire. He, much like myself, heats with wood scraps. And fire is, well, it's my biggest nightmare as well. And I wondered if there was something the average person could jerry-rig up to give you some measure of protection should everything go bad. That's a propane tank full of highly flammable propane and I figure that when the fire hits it it'll consume all the oxygen and no I'm kidding of course. The methodology here is quite simple. We have got a Chinese knockoff Amazon.com sprinkler head. One of them arrived broken in the baggie and one of them snapped off while tightening so yeah, their quality control might be a little lacking, but it's good enough for this test. I've got a reduction valve in there and a street 90 and then a screw in Schrader valve. And so this is full of water up to about here and then pressurized with 100 and 125 PSI. And the idea is, is this nice simulated greasy fire blows that, you're going to then dump that water directly on point. First, I just want to see if the idea itself is even conceivable. Yeah, I guess I should have known that, that there'd be this huge fountain of stuff coming out of it. I think the concept is still probably there. I think it needs more, obviously, more water. Whether you could put three and a half gallons in here and there'd still be enough volume for the air pressure to, to give you a decent push, I'm not sure. Sort of put it out. Sort of put it out. I bet if that little diffuser wasn't there, should have put it out. It's not a failure. Uh, it's maybe not a success yet. <laughs> 